Before even opening Microsoft OneNote, there's one thing that you should know about if you're a beginner. There are two different versions of Microsoft OneNote, or as I usually call them, the good one and the bad one. No, I don't really call them that, but there is one of them that is significantly better than the other in my opinion. There is the Microsoft OneNote for Windows 10, which the logo looks like this and the interface looks like this. It usually comes pre-installed on Windows 10 and it's also available for download in the Microsoft Store. And then there's the version that is just called OneNote. Previously, I think it was called OneNote 2016 and it looks like this. So here's the interface and the logo looks like this. As you can see, you have all of these options up here and all of these different tabs. And this is the version that I use because I think it has a better interface than the Microsoft OneNote for Windows 10. And it also has a couple more options that I really like that is not available in the other one, I believe. And when I'm done with this video, you will understand why I always recommend people to use Microsoft OneNote instead of Microsoft Word for writing like 95% of all of your notes. Okay, so starting up in Microsoft OneNote, you have three different levels of sorting your notes. You have each individual note here to the right, where you can like write meeting, meeting number one, and then you can create a new one, which will be blank, where you can write, and then you can create a new one where you also can write. So these are all of your individual notes. Then you can sort these notes into sections. So here's one section with all of these notes. You can also create a new section called notes two or whatever you like. And then you have a couple of new notes. See. So these sections have different notes and you can also see those over here. And the top level are the notebooks. So here you have two separate notebooks of notes. So here are all of my private notes with tabs for all of the different kinds of notes and then all of these different separate notes. If you want another level of sorting your notes, you can actually go to the individual notes here to the right and then you can drag the notes to the right. And what does this create then? Well, if you look at the new notes here, you can push this arrow up and then you're hiding all of these notes and you can push them down. What you can also do then is that you can color coordinate these sections, which is awesome. So you can just like grab a color purple and then you can make this one purple mist. And then if you do another section, you can do these even another kind of blue. And look, you have rainbow color sorting. Because the most important part of writing any type of notes is to have them color coordinated. No, but I know a lot of people will agree with me. Actually, comment down below if you're also one of those OCD people that need to have everything like in color order or whatever. I would like to hear from some of you guys. Okay, so when we have a new note here, what you can do here is to write the title of the note. Super simple. And then these two fields here, you can actually click on them and change them. So here you can actually enter the date a note was written and enter the exact time. Then you have this whole space where you can write. You can just click anywhere and write whatever you want to. And you can write all of these different notes. And then you can just move it up here and write a lot of different notes like you do with any other type of writing program. If you want to, your workspace can be pretty big. You can both scroll to the right and you can scroll down if you want to. So you can just keep going down here. Um, and other than that, it's not very difficult. So one thing that I think is really neat in OneNote is that it can make automatic calculations. So if you just write a number, 1000 plus 345, and then equals and space, you get the automatic cal calculation and it can be quite difficult calculation. So 35 times five plus seven equals 182. Okay, so I will go through some of the most interesting functions that you can use in Microsoft OneNote. So for the functionality, we have a few different interesting tabs here on the top. 
I will go through the home and the insert tab because that's what I believe is the most interesting for someone who is a beginner at Microsoft OneNote. And what you can do here in the home tab is basically like pretty much all of the basic editing that you do in any other program. So you can copy formats, you can edit all of the text, and then you can like insert different types of headings and types of text. But the most important and I think the most interesting thing in OneNote are these tags. And from the beginning, you have quite a few different tags set up. I believe I might have changed these ones myself to be at the top but you will find these as well. But the most important tag for me is the to do tag. So you can click on it here or you can click control one. So if you click control one one time, you will get this box. And then if you click it control one again, you fill in the box. And if you click control one again, it removes it. So you can just click control one and then you get the box and then you can fill it in like a regular task that you would do. And I find this super, super useful. And you can do this with other tags as well. As you can see, the three at the top are the ones that I use the most, which is the to-do tag, which is this box. And then I have this um, important task, important point, and then control two, and then it gets a star. And the last one is basically a question mark. So for control three, I have a question. And this is super useful when you write notes because you write all of these notes um, and then you need want to highlight things that are important that you bring with you. So like a task, then you just write this and then you can continue writing and then you have an important question that you need to ask someone. Then you just click control three and then you have the question. So this is one of the things that makes OneNote outstanding in comparison to Word for writing regular meeting minutes. I use this all the time, especially the task function because it makes it so easy to see whenever someone has a task to do and it's very easy to go back and see all of the meeting notes that you've written. You can also use the system to write a really neat task management system if you want to. You can just do this and then it's very easy to just take some kind of text and drag and drop it. We'll name this to do the list and then we'll get back to this later to make this a little bit easier to overlook. If you want to, there's also the functionality of using Outlook tasks. So you can add an Outlook task and then it will show up as a task in Outlook. So if we move into Outlook and go to the tasks, you can see here that the tasks show up in Outlook. So if you want to, you can combine Microsoft OneNote with Outlook and connect all of the tasks to Outlook. And then you can also email a page directly. You just click here and then it gets exported into Outlook and you can just send it to whoever you want to. Okay, so the next thing in this Microsoft OneNote tutorial is the insert tab, which I also think is very useful. So something that I know that a few beginners struggle with when first using OneNote, it doesn't really have any functionality for like inserting blocks or things like that. So what you can do to make things look nice and sorted things into categories is to just do a one by one table and then write headline and then you can shade that specific headline. That was a bit dark. And this way you will just use this one as the headline and then you can drag and drop your tasks into this box. So what you could do is that you could use the Moscow method. So must do and then you can do another one. And there you have the beginning of a really simple task management system. And then you can just fill this up with a lot of more tasks. And I have loads of videos about how to set up a task management system. So I'll include these in the info box up here somewhere. And uh, you can just look there. Another thing that I find really useful is that you can insert file printouts. Just click on the file printout button and then you can just pick one of these things like this one, for example, the business playbook, um, really good document for sustainability. Okay, here. 
So here you have the full printout of the PDF. You can do it with PDFs, you can do it with PowerPoints, I believe you can do it with Word documents. And then you have the whole thing in here. You can write things at the side. Here you have your notes, blah, blah, blah. And this is quite useful. If you want to make a new page, but don't want to make a completely empty page, that happens when you click add page, you can also click on page templates. And then you will go into Microsoft OneNote's own page templates. So here you have the templates. So here you have these like different versions of them. So let's do business. Let's try project overview, it sounds interesting. So here you have a good template that you can use like straight from Microsoft OneNote. And this will obviously help you save a bit of time, but the more powerful part of this is creating your own templates when you come up with a structure that you really like. However, I'll save that OneNote tutorial for another time because it's not really beginner material. And now, to the part that makes OneNote superior to Word is the search function. And you're going to be like, what? That's so boring. And I agree with you, but it makes a huge difference. So what you can do here is that you will click on this search button and then it will search in all of the notebooks that you have. And then you can search to do. Oh, and then you find your to-do list here. Imagine in Word, you can't really search between documents. You can search within the document, but you can't search between documents. So if you have one word page that is like meeting minutes from meeting one, you have another one from meeting two and another document from meeting three, and you can't remember from which meeting something you're looking for was said, then you have to go into each document's like open it, wait for it to load, and then you will get into the search function and be able to search in it. In OneNote, you will probably have those notes in like a different page, a different note over here, and then you can just search all of them at the same time, which is super, super powerful. So Microsoft Word should only be used for like making reports and structuring up like good looking documents and that, but for every other, like every little note, every scribble, meeting minutes, all of those kind of quick notes that you don't have to format and make beautiful, you should do in OneNote or another more kind of note taking program and not in Word, which is more of kind of like a report writing program. If you're interested in learning more about note taking, I recommend you to check out this video about how you become a master at meeting minutes. Thank you so much for watching this Microsoft OneNote tutorial for beginners and I'll see you in my next video.